a banana plant be rooted from a cuttings? Hold on to your trunk. Be right back. Hello, happy YouTubers. Welcome back. Marcelina here. Previously, one of my agriculture students was asking me these questions. How do you grow and propagate banana? Can a banana cuttings be rooted and grow into a new plant? This is very interesting questions that you all need true answers. But before we continue, if this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, let's get back to the video. Basically, not all plants can be grown from a stem, like the banana, for example, because banana is not a true tree. It is only forming a petiole, which is a stalk. So if I try to grow the top of the banana plant, this will die eventually. So when you see in the bottom, you will notice a condensely wrapped leaves that will grow and expand as the trunk gets bigger. So that is why you cannot root the top of the banana. So how do you grow and propagate banana? Coming up next. We're going to repot this banana plant and remove some of the cuttings off of here. Meanwhile, we're going to use this, I don't know how many gallons, is it 10 gallons? I think so. Looks like it. Fill this up and give us some special banana plant fertilizer. Some uh, Epsom salt. It's okay. Should, will yeah. that be good for this? Yeah. Water pitcher? Down there. Bring it? Down there. So what yet. fertilizer are you giving to the banana? This is called Kelp for Less. This is a special banana formula, 18328. Okay. A lot of phosphorus in this. And uh, this is formulated just for bananas. So we're going to put one full teaspoon of this in a gallon of water after we get it rooted up. But before we do that, we're going to load it up with some Epsom salt down in the hole here. Okay. One ounce, we're going to put two ounces of Epsom salt down in the hole. We're going to take this banana tree and we're going to tip her upside down. I would recommend to uh, water the banana first, it's easy for you to slide. All right, let's try that since it's such a big pot. This is beautiful. All winter long, it's been the greenhouse getting moderate 50% sunlight because we have to, we have the 50% sunscreen on the greenhouse. And bananas love their water. You can give this thing a gallon of water a day mm -hmm. and it will suck it. Banana up. is almost like the uh, bamboo or citrus, the lab nitrogen feed. Yes. This and thing gives out one water, brand new water. leaf every single week. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid, so well, I don't wanna... banana is forgiving. I know, break it. You know, in the Philippines, we, we don't take for granted for a banana. <laughs> we do take for granted your banana. <laughs> we have so many bananas, so... Look at the roots on that, baby. Wow, it is really root-bound. It's my buddy. See? Yeah. So we're going to break this baby apart. Maybe we're going to break her apart. <laughs> what you have Maybe. to do, you have to... Uh, Ooh, hold on, to I'm going to get your... The, yeah, the claw. This is probably one of the best agricultural tools that you can find in your arsenal. Yeah. But it's really for poking logs in your fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> I love finding different uses for the same thing. I think you need a, a rick. To... No, it's too, too aggressive. We're getting it. Just gotta be a little patient and work it. Not like McDonald's. <laughs> Although McDonald's is not fast like they used to be. It's really root bound. So there are three babies in this banana that will produce another yeah. banana. <laughs> they also need tender love and care and feeding also 
and they're stealing the nutrition from the main tree. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll get this thing to get some blooms and we'll get some bananas this summer. Huh? How much of this root do I need to pull apart from here in order to grow a new banana tree? Not really. Could I cut it right here and grow a tree from this? No. <laughs> That's what I want to know. What do I need? No, you need the you need the rhizome. Where's the rhizome? This one. This is the baby. Yeah. You have to detach that from the uh, parent, so it will so she's, grow. She's got an umbilical cord attached to the mother, huh? <laughs> I think you can uh, get that now. Yeah. Most of the roots are on the outside. There's hardly any roots in the center. So I'm reaching down here. All the roots mm -hmm. are on the so outer the perimeter outside, here. The lateral side. Yeah. Okay, so when you do like that, you just make sure you okay. take this in here. You need a knife. Give me my machete. Machete. Here's my machete. This is Philippine you need a You need a bigger knife. Yeah, I think I can handle this. My student. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's my a. student. Make sure he passes. I better get an A. There is A, or yeah. else I will give you an F. Yeah. <laughs> For fantastic. Okay. It is really hard down there. I just cut it, you know. As long as the root is that's in another one, is that, That's another one there, huh? Yeah. That's why you need a, a, a what they call it, that, a fork or a something like that that's good there you go here's the baby all right that's an a that's an a, that's an a. <laughs> let me see let me examine the root yeah let me see let me see this side okay so this we one here it, it needs first. to heal yeah so we held we had to keep that outside for okay. two days okay there's another baby so that's why you have to get the rhizome from the banana because otherwise your banana doesn't produce a bitter fruit because the baby is sucking the nutrients from yeah. the parents so you need to remove them. It's almost like a strawberry, you know? You're supposed to move out. What did you say? <laughs> I said it's like an 18-year-old child still living in your house uh -huh. that's taking all your funds and resources away when they should move out. We don't remove our kid in the Philippines. We will keep our kids I even know, if they they're married. married. And bring the kids home yeah. and live with mom and dad. It's good to have a big family, you know. Yeah. When you have your dinner. I know you the have, real reason you, you guys do that. You have all the siblings. I know the we real reason. We just have to work together here in United States. They kick out their children. Yep. <laughs> Time is just like a bird, you know. Especially when the when the kids all they do is sit around and play video games all day long. And don't want to work. Go get a job. Different if they're working. College. Oh yeah? Yeah. So when your son is 22 years old, are you kicking him out? My son's going to be a doctor when he's 22 years old. Oh. He's going to take care of me. Have you? That's right. <laughs> okay, so that is removed. Wow, look at that. Make sure you don't take out all of the roots from the parent because she's you got need... Plenty. Okay. She's got plenty. I remember you ordered uh, fungicide. I remember you take fungicide after the, to heal the wound because you really need to put some fungicide in that wound. Get it. Let's do this one first. Where's my little okay, shovel? Okay, so we are going to... Soil? Nice rich soil. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Nice dark banana compost. Is this a dwarf banana or... Right now it is. <laughs> because <laughs> banana would grow up to 15 feet. I don't think this is that. This is called a Kavanaugh dwarf. Mm -hmm. So, so this is real nice. You know, you have your own banana. And then if you see fruit, oh my gosh, I think that is awesome. It's a bonus because it's the a plant bonus. itself is just really nice. It has a nice tropical feel to your backyard. Okay, so you're going to put fertilizer now? Yep, I got a gallon of water here. I'm going to put one teaspoon. One very carefully measured teaspoon. Just like that. What is the ratio in there? It looks like 18... 18, 3, 28. Oh, that's high in nitrogen, huh? 
higher in phosphorus. Okay, now we're gonna let water this little baby. So this is a uh, soluble, guys, soluble fertilizer. This is really good. This is made just for banana trees. It's gonna say pay for bananas. Yeah. I'm gonna give her some more water though. So good. That's the way the crop is though. Mm -hmm. Find these out in the jungle. So thick you can't even walk between them because they just keep propagating up those rhizomes. So where are you going to place that? Oh. Okay, so here's our banana here in the courtyard. It's beautiful. The best method of growing and propagating banana is by division, separating the pups or rhizomes from the parent. We separated this baby plant from the parent two days ago and we did not plant right away because we want to uh, heal the wound. So I'm going to plant the banana in this container. So make sure when you grow banana in a container, the container has to have plenty of holes or plenty of drainage. So I even create a hole along the side of the container so it can easily breathe in and breathe out. So my banana doesn't go into a rock bound. You can use any type of soil as long as it has good drainage and I'm using the microgreens. So I'm going to fill the container halfway with soilless media. Okay. So Going to fill this with extra soil. So when you plant the banana, you plant one foot from the from the root up to the first base of the plant. Now after you plant the seedling or baby you fertilize the plant okay so when you grow banana fertilize only with a specific fertilizer so this is specific for banana and I use one teaspoon uh, banana fertilizer and one uh, no I mean one half teaspoon banana fertilizer and one teaspoon Epsom salt and and mix in into the water so when you fertilize banana you fertilize once uh, once a week or twice every uh, or twice every two weeks so you just water the plant and I'm going to remove the dead leaves and dead bark. I grew a lot of bananas in the Philippines, guys. <laughs> so my my years of experience in banana plantation and is going to help you guys how to grow bananas. So what I did, I removed the bark. This is a dead bark and cut this into pieces and add into covering to your banana so this is a good compost once it breaks down but your banana needs a lot of water so you, by adding compost it helps the moisture lock in so when the soil this soil is not really dry out too fast because there is compost so I just put that not close to the base just around it because of so many bananas in the Philippines uh, mo most of the people 
use the banana bark to serve food <laughs> you can do a lot of things in banana and it is awesome to have your own uh, homegrown bananas okay i will add another compost later on this week so for now i just place the bark on the base Having your own homegrown banana, guys, is awesome. If you live in a warm climate, that even that is even uh, better because you can grow tons of banana with no worries of killing your plant with cold temperature. Just keep in mind, banana needs a lot of at least 12 hours of sunlight, and it thrives in warm temperature between 26 to 30 degrees celsius which is also 78 to 86 degrees fahrenheit now the humidity you need to keep the humi humidity at least 50 percent and then the soil ph of the banana should be in between 5.5 and 7. so make sure that the soil ph is not higher because higher ph can damage or can kill the banana so you don't want too much alkaline in the soil. So check your soil pH. Yeah. You can use uh, the pH tester or you can uh, test your soil. So there's so many ways you can do that. Now um, you have to fertilize your banana, especially when they are in the active growth. Fertilize them monthly between uh, uh, use of the organic fertilizer if you want to use compost. That is good for banana. Now, the requirements is high in nitrogen and phosphorus. Problems of banana, sometimes it can have this disease and pest. So you have to monitor your banana. Keep an eye on it. And if you see any discoloration or dying leaves and some other problems. So if disease of the plants are discovered, you have to know the problem and treat them accordingly. Nitrogen and potassium, mostly deficiencies, are the most common nutritional problem for bananas. So knowledge to the signs and symptoms, you can treat or you can properly treat your plant. Now, to prevent or decrease the occurrence of pests and diseases, it is important to clean the surrounding area. Make sure that the base of your banana should be uh, free from debris. And if you're using different tools to do the pruning or removing some dead tissue of the plant, make sure that it is sterilized because if it doesn't, this is another cause of fung fungal uh, transmission. So my experience in plantation, banana plantation, uh, I remove all the stem leaves and chop them into pieces like what you see in the video that I chop the banana uh, stem and also the leaves and I add that to the compost because banana needs uh, water all the time. So to avoid too much uh, always watering, I mean, <laughs> you have to compost or add compost to the soil so it keeps that moisture locked in. Now make sure that you don't overwater because overwatering will rot the root. So just keep an eye of your banana. If you do all the requirements, you're all set. So that's how you grow and propagate banana, <laughs> so by removing the, uh, the pups. Now, if you have any questions on how to you know, take care of your banana plant, just comment below. And this is for today. Thank you for watching. Now the banana, like this one here, banana only produce once, produce fruit. So once the fruit is done, the, you need to remove the plant so that there is still more rooms for the new babies and produce fruit. So if this banana here, if it will produce fruit, then after it's done, I will remove, remove the uh, banana plant and then chop it into pieces and add to my thumb. So thank you for watching guys. See you next week. Peace out.